Wembley Arena set for one of the most popular gymnastics events of the year, a competition that over the last six years has bred real champions. In 1980, the winner was Terry Bartlett, who went on to represent Britain at the Los Angeles Olympics. Our 1981 winner, Sally Lana, became the first a British girl to win the overall gold medal at the Coca-Cola International. One of the stars in 1982, little Jackie McCarthy, was the Champions Cup winner at the Albert Hall last year. Good afternoon. Well, what a standard this Thames Television Junior Gymnast competition has set over the last six years. And there's every reason to expect that the winners of these lovely trophies this afternoon will go on to become real stars of the future. Quick reminder of how the competition works. Eight boy gymnasts under 16 years of age will compete on six pieces of apparatus. Eight girls under 13 will compete on four pieces and all in the tremendously tense atmosphere of the Wembley Arena. Well, our guest this afternoon, Suzanne Dando, knows all about that tense atmosphere. What can it do to uh, a competitor's nerves? It makes your spine shiver. I mean, walking in here today, it's such a, a lovely atmosphere. When, once people start coming in, uh, it's even better. But even on its own, just to stand in the auditorium, it's, it's a wonderful feeling. It's one of the nicest things to compete at Wembley. Doesn't seem to be many nerves watching the gymnast warm up. <laughs> what, what have been your impressions of, of the gymnasts you've seen? Well, they're all very good, and uh, what impresses me most each year is that they are young, very young, and they're very uh, full of courage, and as, you know, each one of them, all eight girls and eight boys, they're not just the one that's good and the rest not so good, they're all very good and very high standard, so I should be very interested to see who wins. They, they seem today. to be smaller than previous years, don't they? Oh, much smaller. They were smaller than last year, and they're doing just as much difficulty, if not more, so um, I think our older girls have got to keep up their fight when this lot come up. <laughs> standard is going to be tremendously high. We'll get your opinion on uh, how the competition goes throughout the afternoon. In the meantime, let's meet the finalists who've won their way through from an entry of over 50,000 gymnasts. The first two enter the arena from the North Zone, Aidan Richardson and Lisa Law. Aidan from the Hinkley Gymnastics Club, already with international experience. Lisa from Leicester, a member of the National Under-12 squad. Alison Howard and Michael Bone. Alison from Rochdale, a member of the North West Under-13 squad. Michael from Middlesbrough has won the North of England Apparatus Championships for the last five years. Nina Pitch and Carl Rainbird. Nina from Nottingham, the current British Junior School Champion. Carl from Huddersfield, a lot of experience. He finished eighth in last year's competition. And finally from the North, Karen Hargate and Philip Clamp. Karen from Rotherham, the Yorkshire Champion. Philip from Leicester and East Midlands Youth Champion. Now the eight finalists from the South Zone. Carl Abraham and Mira Yugosua. Carl from Portsmouth is currently training in the United States. He's also trained in Moscow as a member of the junior national squad. Mira from Stevenage is the East Region Under-12 champion. Susie Mack and Simon Ford. Susie from Gillingham last year won the gold medal in the London and Kent Individual Championship and in the British Team Knockout Competition. Simon from the Hendon Club a member of the BSGA under-16 squad. Lisa Chapman and James Downer. Lisa, at 11 years and 8 months, the youngest in the competition. She's from Brighton and is the Sussex under-11 champion. James from Southampton has trained in Moscow and is the Southern Region under-16 apparatus champion. And finally, Nikki Drury and Robert Barber. Nikki, a member of the Mountain Club that won the British Team Championship. Robert from Stoke-on-Trent has international experience. He's the 1983 West Midlands champion. He's recovered well from a long injury in 1984. That's the lineup. Let's join. As old from the Rochdale Gymnastic Club. Oh, a very nice Sukahara. What a pity she put her feet underneath her hips and fell backwards there. Mira Jagasaw has already scored 8.8 .8 on her first vault. The girls have two attempts. That was certainly a better landing. The flight off wasn't quite so good. We'll have to wait and see what the judges think of that. A look at Mira Jagasaw's vault again. Good speed on the runway, and although she's very slight, deceptive strength off the horse, gets good flight. And that time gets the landing just right, and her score, 8.9. Well, she's already got 9.2, so she's got nothing to lose by giving it everything. Oh, and that was better. I'm certain that was a better vault. Beautiful flight off the horse, and landed it really well. Oh, there's a nice smile. She's had the best start possible.
And Nina Pitcher's second vault here, gathering tremendous speed as she approaches the springboard. Preparing the arms now for the pre-flight. There's the scoop. A beautiful takeoff, and just look at that flight. Beautiful straight Sukahara. And the score, it's 9.25. This is her second vault. She scored 8.6 on the first. She'll have a job to better that by much. Certainly with better control, but the tariff of the vault doesn't allow her to get a much higher score. And Karen Hargate just went into the lead on her first vault, scoring 9.4. Can she better it? Just a slight split of the legs, but an excellently executed vault. Well, that was well worth another look. Karen Hargate, good speed. Head up as she goes into it. Stacks of flight off the horse, just a bit too much, but tremendous flight. Oh, and she's got the reward. She takes the lead, 9.4. And young Nikki Drury. She was the winner in the Southern Zone final. Her second vault, and it was much better. She only scored 8.7 for her first, but she nailed that one. Lisa Law scored 9.1 on her first Sukahara. Her second, very similar, still slack at the knees. Nina Pitch onto the asymmetric bars. Started really well, 9.25 on her vault. Can she keep it going? Nina, a really competent gymnast. She's the British schools under 13 champion. Recently represented the British schools in France. Very strong girl for 13. Full twisting, back away, dismount. A nice swinging routine. Not as polished as it, as it could have been, though. And Howard from Stockport in Cheshire onto the asymmetric bars. Still not 12 years old. And a very busy young lady, as well as the, the rigorous training routine she must put in for a gymnastics, she finds time for tennis and cooking as well. Clean routine, very stylish. Karen Hargate on A bar, Suzanne, the Yorkshire champion. Yes, I, I like this, uh, this kid because she's, she's very strong and um, she, she shows a lot of courage in, in what she's doing. And she's strong all round, you know, um, law and walk. But it um, be interesting to see if she keeps this routine together. She flows quite nicely. Um, a bit of a bent legs there. There's always losing point one or two when the, you know the toes of the not stretching the leg. A nice dismount. It's a long swing back away. So she get a fair score for that, but could have been stretched with the feet a little bit more. I think. Eight six five for Karen. Not bad. It must have been uh, those uh, slightly unpointed toes that knocked her about point one point two off. But a good mark. Good mark. Jagasur to the asymmetric bars. Started well, 8.9 on vault. Straddle over the low bar to start. Bank straddle leap over the low bar again. So far, a very solid routine. Short clear to handstand, giant. The shoot front dismount. Oh, she was lucky not to land straight leather there. Went so high. A very good routine from Mira. And poised, ready for her asymmetric bar routine, young Nikki Drury. She's lying in second place at the moment in the famous Loughton Gymnastics Club, home of Jackie McCarthy, who was silver medalist in this competition in 82. And now a brilliant British star. The routine going really well. Bending her legs to get round in the Giants, but otherwise, 
A nice routine. It should score quite well, although she doesn't look too happy. Halfway stay, Suzanne. What are your impressions? Very, very impressed indeed. Frightening standard, I should think, for someone like oh, you. Oh, it's very frightening. <laughs> and I think what I was doing, which was quite difficult at that time, five years ago, um, it's remarkable what the youngsters are doing now. I mean, and taking into consideration that these lot here are only 12, 13 years old, you know. So it is very, very impressed. I'm very impressed. I'm glad I'm not competing now, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't like to be out there at the moment. It's nice okay. to watch. <laughs> okay, let's check those positions at the halfway stage. In the girls' competition after the A-bars, it's Karen Hargate leading Nina Pitch by just 0 .05, and it's still pretty close after that. Mira Jurgasur. Suzanne, interesting-looking competitor. Yes, yeah, she is. She's, um, for her age, she's relatively tall, but she's very elegant, and with it, she's very strong. And I think this would be quite interesting. There's a nice mount, and as you see, with that mount, there's a lot of strength gone into that. But um, she moves very well. I've, Actually, I've had a sneaky look at Mira. I was in Stevenage when she, where she trains, and she looked very promising in in training. And she does. She's very composed and uh, sort of got a lot of confidence. So um, I think she should do quite well. There's a very elegant look about her, isn't there? There is. There definitely is. And it always helps when you have that little bit of extra height, and you. She, of course, is quite slim, and uh, it does. It helps to make have that long, lean look, but. Um, a backflip into another backflip. Very nice. Throwing her shoulders off the line slightly, which obviously causes a bit of a, a bit of a wobble. But um, she's keeping it together. She does move very nicely. She keeps the whole thing flowing, which, as I say, is very important. As long as she has the right amount of content, she should get um, a very decent mark. I think we've got a back somersault coming up here. Very nice back somersault. Solid as a mark. <laughs> Bound to be nervous on a piece of apparatus like this. The important thing is not to look nervous, I suppose. That's right. Um, that is why the, the Ushers and Rains work so well, because uh, they have so much confidence. They treat it as a floor routine. And this is what our girls are beginning to. That's nice. Round off double back. Very nice routine and executed very well. She should get a good mark for that. Very good. <laughs> Eight seven five for Mira. Yes, I expected a slightly higher mark because I thought it was a very good routine. She did it with a lot of confidence and everything was executed nicely and, and a good amount of difficulty. But that's the final score and that's what you've got to take. But uh, I thought she might have got a little bit near a nine, but never mind. <laughs> Susan Mack into the beam. It's a side mount. Beautifully controlled up into handstand. No nerves there, Monica. No, I was amazed at how cool she looked before she started. Her poor coach looked much more nervous than she did. Very strong on the jumps. Her hobbies include athletics and hockey, and the power in those legs shows that. Very unfortunate fall, but she could do nothing about it. She was off centre when she came from the handstand. That's a very difficult combination, a change leg split leap into a split half jump. Much more difficult than some of the acrobatic elements. And one and a half twisting from somersault finish. Who at the moment is in joint third position. She's got everything to gain by staying on the beam. She won the Southern Zone final to reach Wembley. Oh, and that was a, a clever little distribution of weight there to keep her on that beam.
vital she stays on. Before the V, Nina Pitch was in front of her, but of course she had a fall. So, uh, good exercise here. Oh, and it nearly went there. Held it on again, but of course she will lose marks, but not nearly as many as the 0.5 that she'd have lost had she come off. The fashion at the moment in ladies' beam work is much more up-tempo routines. And Nikki is trying to work at a faster pace, which is very difficult. And that allows them, of course, to cram so many more skills into their routines, which last for one minute and 30 seconds. Young Nikki Drury. Okay, sir, this could be the routine of her life. She's lying in second place, only 0.05 from the leader. So she has absolutely everything to gain from keeping her composure. And a lovely opening tumble there from walk out Arab Spring Flick double twist. getting really excited each club cheering for his or her favorite and now it's Nina Pitch and she's in third place she needs 8.55 to take the lead and she could do it oh dear hands down and a double back tight perhaps she didn't need that much the tumbles because she isn't a very mobile gymnast and so her score will be reduced on her mobility Double twist and she did everything but fall over. Well done, Nina. And although Lisa Law is in sixth place at the moment, nothing is impossible because a fall costs so much. With a good routine, she could just squeeze into the medals.
fast as well. She's going really well. No double backs, no double twists. Well, suddenly... Preparing to put all of her efforts into this routine, she's lying fourth, exactly where she finished in last year's final. It must be very disappointing for her, Monica. She was in the lead for so long. Got that bad beam. But also close. There's everything to go for. because in the zone final she scored 8.9 on the floor, her highest ever score, and if she could produce that today, who knows what she could get. Front walk out, Aaron Spring flick, double twist. A little untidy, but very safe. to the music and this is the last tumble another double twist it could be good enough you know smashing routine there from Karen Hargate and the cheer goes up for Nikki Drury she's the leader in this competition so far Incredible to see the reaction, she's just under 13 years old and that sort of responsibility weighing on her head. Here she goes on her tumble runs. Double twist to start in that first one. She really has to do a faultless routine because I don't think she'll be double backing if she hasn't had it in the first run. Middle sequence, a whip back somersault, and then a single twist at the end, but five tumbles in there.
It's a real cliffhanger. She put a single twist in her at the end. And we've just got to wait for the judges. Chance to look at that final tumble run again. Arab Spring, Flick Flack, and the single twist. But the judges liked her style. She scored 8.75. That's done it. Confirmation that Nikki Drury is the Thames Television Junior Gymnast of the Year. She wins by just 0.6 of a mark from Karen Hargate. Mira Yugasur in third place. Lisa Law fourth. Susan Mack fifth. And Nina Pitch sixth. And Aidan Richardson. Is to the Thames Television Junior Gymnast of the Year, the Managing Director of Thames Television, Mr. Brian Cowgill. The winner of the girls' competition, Nikki Drury. And the boys' competition, Aidan Richardson, who also won the Thames Sport Plate for the highest score by a boy on the floor. And Mr. Cowgill now gives Karen Hargate the silver medal, and she also won the Paul Lang Memorial Plate for the top score by a girl on the floor. Nikki, congratulations, but it must have been a very tense afternoon for you. Yes, it was. It started so well with that vault. Now, tell us about that, because it's the first time you've tried that, isn't it? Yes, it is. The first time I've competed it, and I wasn't quite sure about it. The first one, I didn't know when to open out to land, and the second one, and, you know, I just felt it. And then from then on, was it plain sailing? No. <laughs> You hung on to the beam, which was all important, because that really makes or breaks a competition, isn't it? Yeah. A lot of difficulty up there? Not really. I've had that beam for quite a while, and recently I've stuck it about four times. So I'm quite pleased with that. <laughs> and then on the floor, it was still very close. What was going through your mind during that floor routine? Got to make it good. <laughs> and it was good. And when the score came up, did you know that you won at that point? Yeah, I was really pleased. And the best feeling, I should think, was up on the podium, wasn't it? Yes, it was. <laughs> What happens now for you, Thames Junior Champion, but uh, what's the next big competition and, and what are your hopes? Well, it's the British Championships, but I'm not quite sure because my world sets aren't that good. But I'm looking forward to it though. Yeah, this will be an interesting for you who have helped you as well, I should think. Yeah, she has helped me. Congratulations. Enjoyed your victory. Well done. Thank you. A competition that was an inspiration to all the young gymnasts watching at home. I'd like to show you also that the standard will be even better for 1986, so you better start practicing now. From everyone here at Wembley, bye-bye.